I have a huge problem in my workshop. I don't have any proper place to hang up my aprons. They're just sitting here on the edge of this shelf. Nowhere near good enough. But I recently saw a YouTube video by Gavin Clark who made a really fancy hook. So I thought, how hard can it be? I think I'll try making one myself. A link to Gavin's professional build is in the description under the video. But just for laughs, here's my attempt at building something similar. I've drawn out a bit of a scale of uh, the size I want and I'm just using a bit of wire here to work out where the bends go. So it'll give me a bit of a guide so I'm not working completely blind. I've got some mild steel flat bar that's 5mm by 32mm and some 7 or 8mm reinforcing rod and a smaller size pin for the belt buckle. So I'm going to try to put that reinforcing rod onto a bit of steel in the shape of a belt and so there'll be a bit of bending and a bit of hammering to go to get that in the right place. Okay, I've got it sort of right for the end of the belt. So now I'll just draw the outline on the steel so that the steel can slide inside that. Then I'll be able to weld the steel onto the Rio. I'm giving the steel a bit of a clean up to get rid of most of the um, mill scale of it. You can see here that that's starting to do the trick. My initial plan was just to put a few tacks on the back to uh, stick the, the steel to the Rio, but I got carried away with myself and I ended up welding the whole thing. Probably not a good idea. Will this make it harder to bend later? I'm not sure, but I think it probably will. Here it is welded right up. Not a professional job, but good enough for a backyard bodger. I'm using my highly complex bit of bent wire to um, now just mark out where I need to put these bends. There's no way this stuff's going to bend on its own in a nice curl. So I'm trying to heat it up a bit with the blowtorch. Unfortunately what I'm finding is all the heat is going straight into the vise and it's not really heating it up very much. So I 
really have to struggle to get a bend on the end of this. So much so, I have to resort to my fist to really give it a beating. There, gotcha. Everything can be achieved if you have a big enough hammer. The two small bends proved to be a challenge as well, so I've got a wrench on a shifter trying to bend it. And uh, it was a bit of faffing around for that, but eventually sort of got it. As you can see here, the, the two bits of the belt sort of fit together a bit like that. So, and now I can uh, weld the Rio onto the other bit of belt. Now for the buckle. I'm finding that this Rio shears and cracks really easily so I have to gently bend it so that it doesn't really know what I'm doing. Otherwise it'll end up cracking. But eventually get it right and now it's time to put the buckle holes in it. With the holes drilled and the pin the right size, just going to sit sort of like that. I get the sort of the right angle for that pin so that I can use that angle when I weld it. With the pin welded on, it's time to give it a bit of a test fit. There's the other bit of the belt. And then the buckle. Yep, that looks like it's going to work. I had both parts of the belt longer than I needed, so now it's time to just trim them off. So the last part of the job is to make those little belt loops. So again, a bit of hammering does the trick.
Okay, I'm almost finished. I just want to do a couple more things to it before I finally finish it. And that is to just put some heat marks on the front of it. Because mine's way rougher than the one that I'm copying, I'm going to make mine quite industrial looking to sort of cover up all the roughness of my build compared to the build that I'm copying from. So there you can see there's um, some nice bluing marks coming through in a couple of places and I've got some on the end there as well. But I will leave. If I leave the steel as is it'll end up rusting so a bit of a clear coat will just reduce that uh, ability to rust even though it's inside. So here's my finished product and here's the proper finished product that I copied. Way nicer than mine but it is what it is and it's been fun to build so now it's time to put it in place. Yeah just up here somewhere I'll do. This is right near the shed door so I can grab an apron as soon as I walk into the shed. Well, for better or for worse, here's my hook for my leather aprons. No, it's nowhere near as good as Gavin Clark's, but it's mine. And at least I can say that I built it. And even though it's um, <laughs> quite a lot of complexity for just a hook, it's been fun and it's quite satisfying to see the end result. But I'd recommend you go and check out Gavin's channel. He's got heaps of good stuff there.